With the rising cost to advertise on Facebook, it's becoming more challenging than ever to use it as a vehicle for growing your e-commerce business. That's why today we're gonna to give you three simple strategies you can use right now to use Facebook ads to scale profitably. A major key to growing your e-commerce business with Facebook ads isn't just having the right interests or the right bid strategy. It's actually a consolidated account structure built on top of campaign budget optimization with full funnel ad creative. CBO gives you the most potential for increased conversions by automatically allocating your budget to the best performing ad sets. That way, when you set up full funnel ad creative, you're in a position to scale what's working and optimize what isn't. Each CBO campaign must only have one singular purpose. You could split up your campaigns based on buyer personas, offers or sales, purchase types, or even geographies if you're shipping international. Either way, they must be separate and very intentional. Wait, aren't we supposed to put prospecting and retargeting in different campaigns? That structure works great for seasonal events like Black Friday and Cyber Monday. But the challenge comes in, especially when you're using single account ROAS, when retargeting inevitably performs better than prospecting. This fuels that overinvestment in retargeting and creates the shrinking sponge without bringing in enough new customers. Having them both in the same campaign gives you a better indication of success for the entire funnel. So does this mean we can only have one audience or interest per campaign? Your CBO campaigns with three ad sets and three to five ads per ad set actually give you the flexibility to speak to different interests and stages of the funnel at the ad level. For example, you could have one ad set with a lookalike audience based on your existing customers, another with an interest stack related to their hobbies, lifestyle, and behavior, and another with a broad audience 18 to 65 plus with no restrictions on your pixel. These three ad sets could be driving toward one of those campaign categories that we mentioned like a specific offer. Now, how do you specifically acquire these new customers? The purpose of prospecting is to reach and convert as many qualified people as possible. But often brands can prevent the Facebook algorithm from working its magic by placing too many restraints on the targeting. This is where broad audiences come in. A lookalike audience that leans on Facebook to cast the widest net possible for your targeted audience. So we shouldn't put in any targeting? Not exactly. Going broad is all about letting your Facebook pixel do the job of finding the right customers for you. If you have a new pixel with some historical data of purchases, then you should start with a 1-5% to lookalike audience of your customer list. And if you have a brand new pixel, you can still go broad, but use an interest stack instead since you can't build a lookalike audience just yet. Be sure your detailed targeting expansion is on and remember your exclusions or it's not prospecting. We exclude existing customers via email list, pixel purchasers and visitors in the last 180 days and Facebook and Instagram page engagers in the last 365 days. Combine this with automatic placements, dynamic ads, square and vertical creatives, and you're off. But how does remarketing fit into this? Before we discuss how to properly use remarketing to increase sales, another limitation for increasing visitors to your website and maximizing sales is capital. With Wayflyer, the sponsor of today's video, you can get access to fast, flexible funding to spend on marketing or inventory in order to maximize growth. From $10,000 to $20 million, they're empowering the fastest growing brands with the best possible rates. You can join the thousands of businesses using Wayflyer to fuel their growth with the link in the description. As a reminder, retargeting or remarketing ads are ads that are served to people who have interacted with your business in some way, whether that be visiting your website or interacting with your social pages. As opposed to prospecting, here it's best to think about why isn't this person converted? Then answering those questions and objections in the copy and creative of your ads. Some of the best places to find these are your FAQs, your positive and negative reviews, old comments on your social platforms, and even your competitors' reviews as well. These create the perfect ingredients for your ad text and headlines, and then you can dive a little bit deeper in the creative. Speaking of creative, this is one of the best times to have your customers speak for you in user-generated content or UGC. By showcasing your product in the way that the ideal customer will be using it in their day-to-day -day lives, you can actually increase conversions and relatability. Two keys to successful user-generated content or UGC are being specific about what you want and what your objectives are. This can be scripts and briefs given to the creators. And the second key to successful UGC is getting started. If you're having a hard time, reach out to your best customers, offer gift cards in exchange, and if you have no customers yet, incentivize family and friends or hire a third party to do it for you. The perfect message at the wrong time can end up with a lackluster response. So use data to identify the time lag in which 90% of your customers 
customers are most likely to purchase. In this example, your remarketing audience would be web visitors in the last 30 days, Facebook and Instagram engagers in the last 180 days. To connect this all together, we actually have a consolidated ad account structure template that actually shows you all the different funnels you could have and has templates and spaces that you can fill in with your own offers, your own creative, your own ideas, your own targeting, your own ad sets. So if you'd like that template, you can go ahead and grab that with the first link in the description below. And if you're looking to learn more, you can actually watch this video here for another great resource for e-commerce brands. Until next time, see you soon.